Harbuck and his merry band of celebrity golfers in full swing. Welcome to Full Swing, a new game show based on golf. And what do you think of the buggy, hey? The police have stopped me in this. He said, what is this you're driving? I said, hang on, copper. I said, it only goes up to 45. He said, that's not bad. I said, yes, but I live at 74. <laughs> he said, you were doing 85 miles an hour in a buggy. I said, well, let me give you my excuse. He said, what is it? I said, four weeks ago, my wife ran off with a traffic policeman. And I saw you in the mirror and I thought, my God, it's him, bring it back. <laughs> right. <laughs> It is so nice to be doing a show for the BBC. Last time I worked here, they did promise to have me back, and it's good to know Lord Reith is a man of his word. <laughs> they gave me a choice of two shows. It was either this or a game show involving MPs called Pratt's Win Prizes. <laughs> We've got the best MPs money can buy. Now, not all the hosts, not all the hosts are the right man for the job. I mean, take the prices right with Bruce Forsyth. I mean, when did you last see him in Tesco's? <laughs> the last time Bruce went shopping, he used a ration book. <laughs> he thinks Safeway is a family planning clinic. <laughs> right. And at his age, Michael Parkinson should never be hosting Going For A Song. I mean, last week, someone inspected his bottom and valued him at £9.50. <laughs> now, before his lawyer rings, let's play Full Swing. <laughs> Well, that's a lovely name. Good evening, Lindsay. Hi. And how are you, love? Oh, fine, thank and you. And tell them all where you're from. I'm from Chesty Street in County Durham. And I, uh, here on the grapevine, they tell me you've had some very interesting pets in your time. I have, yes. Um, sheep, goats. I had a lamb called Corrie, who I used to take um, up to the shops for a walk on a collar and leader. <laughs> what did you do with your lamb? Did you... She... No! <laughs> she grew too big and we had to give it to a farmer. To... You give it to a farmer? Yes. Oh, yes, I bet he kept it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have got a lovely person to play with tonight. He's a fine actor, super comedian, but a very keen golfer. Will you welcome Tim Brooke Taylor? <laughs> I'm really worried about this lamb curry. Yeah. Was it called curry or...? No, curry. <laughs> curry. Oh, oh I lamb a... curry, why I? <laughs> it's lovely. Well, how's your golf? It'll be very good this evening, don't panic. <laughs> but it's not very good at the moment. Well, I promise you at home and I promise you he is a very good golfer, Tim. It's lovely to have you on the show. Thanks, Thanks for being here. Got some posh names tonight. Sandro, explain that one for me. Good evening. Um, nice good to evening. see you. Excuse me. It's uh, short for Alessandro, which is Italian. Oh, Italian. So you have a, an Italian connection in the family? Yes, related to the Forte family. Oh, are you? Mm. Oh, lovely. And are you in the hotel business? No, I'm one of the poor relations. Well, the best of luck tonight, <laughs> because uh, what can I say about this fellow? In all seriousness, the great Bill Shankly said he was his best ever signing, and I certainly endorse that. Will you welcome Mr. Ian St. John? <laughs> Well, Sandro, you're stood next to a man. I mean, a keen golfer yes. would be... Uh... Yes, you can see I was keen. And one of the gentlemen of the links, I've got to tell you, he, he loves the tradition and all the good manners that take place on a golf course you associate with Ian St. John. Would that be right? Exactly. What a lying toad I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy the show Thank tonight, you. Ian, and best of luck to you. Thank and the lovely Emma. How are you? Yes. Nice to see you. And, of course, you told me this today, 
you know, it did make, make me feel old, but when you were a little girl, I watched you playing golf. That's correct, yes. In a junior competition at my club, Coombe Hill. Yes, that's right. <laughs> but you're a good golfer yourself. You play at... Ealing. Ealing. And you're going to be the lady captain next year. I am, yes. Well, how <laughs> Well, you're playing with a man that we all thought was going to have the lead in that wonderful film, Brave Heart. Will you welcome Mr. Ronnie Corbett? Oh, yeah. And possibly, of all the boys in the show business, the keenest golfer. Well, I love it, yes. Do you hope you don't mind the strides? I think they're lovely. <laughs> Rupert, well, Rupert Bear's cast off. <laughs> My wife doesn't like them. She says they're a waste of a perfectly good handkerchief. <laughs> <laughs> but is that your own tartan, Ron? Uh, well, it, well, not quite, but, uh, you know, I'm from Edinburgh. This is the Musselboro tartan. Yeah. So, it, so I'm entitled to wear it because, you, I mean, you know, well, everybody knows me as Ronnie Corbett, don't they? But my real name, this will might, uh, impress you, Emma. My real name, Ronald Gervais. Courtney de Corbett, 14th Earl of Musselboro, oh. and Queen's Champion. There we go. I'd like to point out if there are any Queens watching, I don't take that part. <laughs> Ronnie Corbett, 895, complete with bathroom. There's our introduction. Well, that's the introduction's over. Now let's play three for the tea. Now, what we have here is a marvellous bit of technical wizardry which brings any hole from many of the famous golf courses in the world right here in the studio at the push of a button. We've decided to test tonight's golfers with this, the 18th hole at the Belfry, and our virtual reality computer will show you what they've got to contend with. The Belfry's Brabazon course at Sutton Coalfield is one of the most recognisable in the world. The notorious 18th fairway crosses water twice on its way to the green and the famous clubhouse, which is home to this country's professional golfers association. Please join me on the tee, Tim Brook Taylor. Well, mate, have you played the Belfry? I have, and I've been virtually in that water, really, many times. <laughs> well, you know what it is. I mean, it's a daunting hole. It was a wonderful hole for us in the Ryder Cup. But now, look, this is no ordinary tee. We've got sensors buried in the ground there, so you will get virtual reality of where your ball is going, the direction, and how far you are, and then your, your partner can help you get a little bit further up the fairway. The very best of luck, mate. Thank you. There's no wind, is there? Not today, thank you. <laughs> thank God. Well, there is actually, but... Oh, is there? <laughs> I hate a nervous player. Right. <laughs> oh, good strike. Oh, a bit right. Slight slicey. Here it comes, Tim. Oh, he's hooked the ball. <laughs> You're now 286 yards from the pin. Oh. Well, not bad. You slice that. You hook it. Would you I call yourself hook a hooker? It. Yeah. Really? Mm. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can help him with a general knowledge question. There's two, and you can get him further up the fairway. How are you on general knowledge? I'm not very good. Well, come on. We'll try and find some easy ones for you. You've gone for the yellow one. The very best of luck. Okay. Rhyming slang. Now you got to listen to what I'm saying. Okay. Barnet fair. Mm -hmm. Barnet fair. It's Cockney rhyming slang for what? Hair. Hair. Very good. Well done. <laughs> and his distance from the pin is now 235 yards. Well, come on. You can get him a little bit nearer. A lot nearer. <laughs> <laughs> bit of current bun is, again, Cockney rhyming slang. Think of it. Laying in the current bun. Sun. The sun. Well done, Ray. <laughs> That's not bad. You are now, Tim, 186 yards from the pin. Very well done. Well, 186. But remembering, you've got to carry that lake in front of the... Uh... I think I might just stick with the driver. I don't think you're wrong there, <laughs> actually, mate. Now, here is where the pin is. Well, just announce right of centre if you can, I think. Yep. It's all carry, though, mate. The best of luck. Thank you. Whoops. 
one. Oh, no, no, no. Christy O'Connor Jr. had that wonderful shot on here. He was with a three iron. Smart ass. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, you're in the bunker, uh, but you are 28 yards from the pin. Very good, Alex. Well played. Well played. You've played here in several of the charity matches. Yes, I have, many times. You know, but well, you know what a hard hole it is. Well, I've, it? I've never had a bad day on this. Really? Never. Oh, well, good luck today. <laughs> <laughs> Running away. Good shot. And you frighten the club cuckoo there. 273 yards from the pin. Now it is your chance, young man, to help your partner. One of three. Red, please. Red for you. Why, why particularly red? Not a liver puzzle, are you? <laughs> Manchester United. Really? Well, it's been nice having you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Initials now. What do the initials VAT stand for? Value added tax. Very good. <laughs> Ian's distance from the pin now, 233 yards. You can get him nearer than that. What do the initials C-O-D stand for? Cash on delivery. It certainly does. Very well played. <laughs> and young Sinji this time is 188 yards from the pin. <laughs> Bit of an awkward shot for you here, Saint. 188 <laughs> yards and it's all carry. And now I'm in a bunker. Well, you're just a man for the job. <laughs> No need to stunk her when you're there in the bunker. <laughs> hey, just open the face and give it a whack. Hey, a the old King of Scotland can do that, son. It's more than a wedge, isn't it? Oh, I think so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ridiculous. I've never played four wood out of sand before. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you haven't done bad. Considering where you were, you're 96 yards from the flag, and here's the ball there. Very well played. Ian, thank you. Get ready for your country. You certainly can. I tell you what, you couldn't have really started the game on a tougher hole. No, very hard. The 18th of the Belfry. The very best of luck. No. Keep it in play. Keep it in play. Keep it smooth. Oh, good swing. Yeah. Yes. One of those. No laughing, please. <laughs> Yeah. You mind, Adam? <laughs> no heckling the little man when he's about to play. How dare you? Oh, blimey. Keep your legs down. I can't concentrate. <laughs> Interlocked directoires there. <laughs> She's given the catalogue a bash, doesn't she? <laughs> Double gut it. <laughs> no skipping. Oh. <laughs> I know all about it because I wear them for plus fours. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about golf, you give his memory a jog there, like. <laughs> Oh dear. Wait a minute, I'll just start again. Oh dear. <laughs> Here's the reverse shot, Ron. We'll just see where you are. Mmm, very good strike. <laughs> If nothing else, Ronnie, the sound effects are good here. <laughs> you are 261 yards from the pin, yeah. but your partner can get you out of that hazard. Right. Emma, it's up to you, dear. Green or blue? Green. Well done. You're going to advance him, but if you get them right, you get him out the water first. OK, the Daleks mm. are a race of monsters on which TV programme? Doctor Who. Doctor Who. You've got Ronnie out the water. Very well done. Right. The Klingons are a race from which TV programme? Star Trek. Star Trek is correct. Very well done. <laughs> you have advanced him, albeit a little. 182 yards. Well, as I said to the boys, Ronnie, that is all... Remember the hole, it's all carry. Yes. I think you need your driver well, again. I need that, but should I play short, do you think? <laughs> no. I think, personally, you should go for it. You can do 181 yards. Yeah, Let's right. show you where the flag is, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it might not make it over the water. Don't worry, it's the distance of the pin that we judge, so you could still win. <laughs> 
You should have advised me to play short, you see. Well, <laughs> gone fishing. <laughs> you are a distance from the pin now. <laughs> to myself. Of 48 yards. Yes. Well played, Ronnie. <laughs> Who's going through to round two? <laughs> Lindsay and Tim, 28 yards. Sandro and Ian, 96 yards. Emma and Ronnie with a snorkel, <laughs> 48 yards. <laughs> well, commiserations, Ian and Sandro, well played. But all is not lost, because what we're going to do is have some fun while we play Crazy Consolation. Right, Sandra, you're going to play a bit of golf here. And what you have to do to win a £150 prize voucher for yourself and a £150 for Ian's charity, which is tonight? Well, it's a little hospice in the world, Jim, where I live, uh, St John Hospice. Oh, yes, I know. Uh, not named after me. Not named no. after you. <laughs> no, it's a great yeah. place. I know that. By Clatterbridge, isn't That's it? That's correct. Oh, great, mate. Now, you've got to play the full swing crazy golf game. Your shot has to be of such wonderful timing and accuracy. The ball will go into a cup there. Then it will go on a successful journey all the way round, down, up and along and bump. You'd love one of these at the old club. <laughs> and the final destination is in there. The very best of luck, Sandro. Good luck. You can do it. Nice roll on that. Five handicapper. Wife having twins. Oh, good putt, young man. And away it goes. Stand down and watch this. Whoop. <laughs> Tony Daly used to putt like this. <laughs> Got a chance here. Off and running. Contestants on full swing, you'll also get this splendid trophy. <laughs> and now for round two, and this is fairway or foul. Well played, boys. <laughs> well, right now it's time to play our hazard green. And first into bat are Ronnie and Emma. Ron, will you go up to the tee over there, please? Right. He's got to play a most delicate shot. Now, you're going to stay over here and get ready to hold the ball out when Ronnie hits the green. Now, the only problem you're going to have is that this green is not only the hole, which is surrounded by all sorts of hazards. There's ponds, there's bunkers, there's a waterfall over there. There's very a deep bunker here. And we have also the extra hazard of our naughty full-swing rabbits who keep burrowing holes at random. Here they go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the little rascals. At Easter, we poured boiling water down these holes. We got hot cross bunnies. <laughs> There's also a hole that will only allow you to pop the ball in when it's lit like that. If it's not lit, this happens. You beauty. Gotcha. Now, should Ron land in any of these hazards, we will give you a hazard question that will come up on the big screen over there. Something like this. Who has had a number one hit single every decade since 1950? Cliff Richard. Cliff Richard is right, <laughs> lovely Cliff. The winner is whoever is the quickest to get the ball in the hole or who is ever nearest to the pin when the time is up. Oh, and something else I haven't mentioned. In order for your teammate to tee off, you have to correctly answer a starter question all within, Emma, 90 seconds, OK? Your time starts now. True or false? Balsa wood is classed as a hard wood. True. True it is. Play away, Ronnie. Oh, it's not a bad shot. It's a hazard. Let's have a hazard question, please. Who has had a number one hit single? Terry Wogan. Wrong. I'll give you one more chance. Who's had a number one hit single? Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young is correct. Come along. Let's see if you can put that ball in. Tarby drop you've got there to the hole. Good putt. Now it's going to come.
come out, Gemma. Have another go. Go on, dear. Keep going. Must go in when the light's on. Have another go. That was it. Yes, it. Have another go, then. Well, you saw what it was all about. You happy? Yeah. All right, your time starts now. True or false? Joseph Stalin once trained to be a priest. True. True it is. Play away, Tim. <laughs> Let's have a hazard question. To our brothers, which is not? Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise, correct. You get a tarby drop here. There it is. Put away, please. Oh, a little tricky one here. Oh, very cunning, this Geordie girl. Keep going. Yes, it's him. Well played. Please join me here again. Right, please, Ronnie. Yeah. And let's look at the leaderboard. Lindsay and Tim. 45 seconds left. And Emma and Ronnie. 18 seconds left. Well, well played, Tim. Well Commiserations, done. Ronnie. But all is not lost. You have a chance to win a consolation prize for your nominated charity and the same amount of money for your partner here. Let's play Celebrity Consolation. <laughs> right, Ron. Yes. What we have here is a target putt for you mm -hmm. to have a go at. And as you can see, it's numbered with different amounts of money, yes. which increase as you get nearer to the pin. But if you get a hole in one, you get 500 pounds for your charity. And of course, Emma, you get the equal amount in lovely cash vouchers. The oh, very you. best of luck to you. Right. Have a good go. And uh, well, you. you're a good putter. Well, good luck. OK, thank you. That might be a hole in one, Ronnie. You might. Oh! So near and yet so far, you near had the hole in one. But you have won £200 for the lovely Emma here and your charity, which is? I think the Sick Children's Hospital in Edinburgh. Oh, maybe. that's lovely, yeah. yeah. Well, good luck, Edinburgh. That's from one of your friends and from your fellow Edinburgh man up yeah. there. Right now, we are going to play our final game. Tim and Lindsay, here we are. You've won through to the final green and a chance to win the big prizes. Tim, if you'd go over there right. to the first of your Good putting luck, marks, <laughs> and we're going to put you into our little hot seat. <laughs> well, once again, viewers, this is against the clock, and Tim will play with the time gain for him by Lindsay. I'm going to give you four general knowledge questions, my dear, and they will get you ten seconds each. After that, you have a chance of a bonus. You happy there? Yes. Okay, the very, very best of luck. What happened to everything King Midas touched? It turned to gold. It turned to gold. You've got ten seconds. <laughs> In which British museum are the Elgin marbles found? The British Museum. The British Museum. It's a trick question. Well done. Tried to throw you there. Who sang the title song for the film Goldfinger? Shirley Bassey. Shirley Bassey, yes! <laughs> and what sort of animal is supposedly chased in a greyhound race? A hare. A hare is correct. <laughs> 40 seconds you've got. <laughs> Very well done so far. Now you have a chance to add to that with a bonus ball. This is our very own version of the lottery machine. They call theirs Guinevere and Lancelot. I think we'll call ours Archie. <laughs> In here, we have a load of balls, that's why it's Archie, printed with numbers representing 
so many seconds, up to a maximum of 60. May we have the balls into the ball, please? <laughs> There they go. Right, young lady, put your hand in, the best of luck, and tell us what numbered ball comes out, please. 50. 5050? Oh, Brilliant, well done. <laughs> You're in with a great chance now. Now, this is proper golf. Putting, each one represents £100 for your charity, Tim, and then if you should get round to the £1,000, well, that is the big, big bonus ball, not only for your charity, but this lovely lady there, Lindsay, will have a fabulous holiday in... And tonight's star prize is an exciting safari trip to Kenya. Enjoy staying at Mountain Lodge, a treehouse in Mount Kenya National Park, and see some of the most exotic wildlife in the world. <laughs> Well, I know from old, from our days in Portugal, you're a good putter. Mm -hmm. Take your time. You've got 90 seconds, and it starts from when you hit your ball. Well done. You got 100. Here, are, Tim. Well played. Well played. Well played. He's putting well tonight, the boy. Nope. Let it stop, Tim. Let it stop. Well hold, you're going good. Okay. Well played. You have 500, let's go for the six, Tim. Okay, just take your time on that now. All right, knock it in, knock it in. Well hold, come on. Hit 50 seconds, 49, you're going nicely. Yes, in the hole, please. Well hold. Okay, Tim, just take your time. You can get it. Well, hold. Nice putt down, please, Tim. Super putt, that is. Now roll that one in. Now rush up there. Let's have it down. Good putt. Come on, ball. Come on, ball. Come on. Let it stop, Tim. Yes! Yeah! That's lovely. Come over here. Put in your stay there. You've got the star prize. You're going on a lovely, lovely safari. Will your husband like that? Oh, yeah. I think you'll be yes. very proud of you. And your charity, please. It's Sparks, Sport Aiding Medical Research for Kids. Yeah, yeah. Sparks is a great charity. Well played. Proud of you. And also, our other celebrities. Well played, well played, wonderful. Well played, Anna. Well played, Ian. Sandro, well done. We're all safe. I'm all of you. Oh, you enjoyed our show tonight. Good night and God bless you from full swing. Come on now. And Full Swing is back next week at the same time. Will Tony Curtis put the spoilers on the marriage of the year? Superman is next on BBC One. <laughs>